In this video, we are going to learn clearly about the refrigeration cycle. There are many types of AC in HVAC. But any AC works based on this refrigeration cycle. From small 1 ton AC to big chiller, its basis is this refrigeration cycle. Now, let's clearly understand how it works. The important function of this cycle is to absorb heat and reject heat. According to the law of thermodynamics, we do not cool any substance. We only remove the heat from that substance. As heat is removed, the object is cooled. This cycle is also called heat pump cycle. Through this cycle, we remove the heat in the area where we want to cool. Refrigerant is the important material we use in this cycle to remove heat. First, let's look at its components. Four important components are used in this cycle. They are compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator. First, let's see from the compressor. The compressor increases the pressure of the refrigerant. By increasing the pressure of the refrigerant, the refrigerant can travel throughout the cycle. Refrigerant enters the compressor at low pressure, low temperature, and vapor state. The compressor compresses the refrigerant well and sends it out. When it comes out of the compressor, the refrigerant is at high pressure, high temperature, and vapor state. After the compressor, the refrigerant goes to the condenser. Condenser coil is a heat exchanger in the refrigeration cycle. The condenser coil cools the refrigerant coming from the compressor at a high temperature. As the heat in the refrigerant is released, the refrigerant changes from vapor state to liquid state. It now comes out of the condenser at high pressure, low temperature, and in liquid form. Next, the refrigerant goes to the expansion valve. Although, there are many types of expansion valve, thermal expansion valve is mostly used in many places. The most advanced of these is the electronic expansion valve. But, whatever the expansion valve is, its important job is to Reduce the pressure of the refrigerant that can come from the condenser at high pressure. By reducing the pressure, the temperature of the refrigerant will decrease. The refrigerant that comes out of the expansion valve at low temperature, low pressure, and liquid state then goes inside the evaporator. This evaporator is another heat exchanger in the refrigeration cycle. Refrigerant enters it at low temperature, low pressure, and liquid state. The fan in it blows air through the evaporator fins. When blown, the heat in the air is absorbed by the refrigerant. As the refrigerant absorbs the heat in the air, we get well-cooled air and refrigerant changes from liquid to vapor state. Then, the refrigerant enters the compressor, and the process starts again. This is how the refrigeration cycle works. Important points that can be covered in this topic are There are four components in the refrigeration cycle. Compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator. Condenser and evaporator are works as heat exchanger. Heat is rejected in the condenser and heat is absorbed in the evaporator. We reduce the heat of the refrigerant in the condenser and pressure of the refrigerant in the expansion valve which is coming from the compressor at high pressure and high temperature. With the help of compressor, the refrigerant travels through the cycle. I hope you have a clear understanding about refrigeration cycle. Refrigeration cycle is an important and basic topic in the HVAC, so everyone should know about this. If you have any doubt, please ask in the comments section, and if the video was useful, 
Please like the video and if this video is useful to anyone please share this video with them too. Don't forget to subscribe to our Zebra Learnings English channel. Thank you.